makes me want to do my schnitzel dance. What? What? Be sure to tune in next week, you guys, and subscribe to my... <laughs> what? Can you just give me some schnitzel? I want some. Hey there, I'm Angela Strzok and welcome to Kitchen Improv. Today, I'm going to show you how to make homemade, wait for it, schnitzel. This recipe is so easy. You don't need a deep fryer. All you need is a pan and some oil in about 15 minutes. To make this recipe, you'll need chicken, flour, eggs, oil, panko breadcrumbs, sesame seeds, salt, lemon. So today I'm making chicken schnitzel because I have some chicken breasts in the fridge and I want to give it a little love. But you can use veal or pork, whatever you want. Uh, I've washed my chicken breast and dried it off and put it into a Ziploc bag and now it's time to go to town on this poultry. So we want to make it really nice and thin, no more than a quarter inch thick. And use whatever you have, you know, if you've got one of those professional mallet things, by all means. I use the back of a pan, a bottle of red wine, a hammer. Now that we've got our chicken as thin as a Beverly Hills housewife, it is time to dredge it in our little assembly line here. First, dip it in our flour, and then we put it into our egg, make it nice and sticky, and then last step into our panko. And this is the trick, in my opinion, to amazing schnitzel. Some people love the traditional breadcrumbs, but I love panko. It just makes it really light and crispy. Schnitzel originated in Austria and is traditionally made with pork or veal and served with spätzle. Over the years, a lot of cultures have adapted schnitzel and put their own spin on it. It's a really popular dish in Israel, and there they make it with chicken, as we are now, and they serve it with an Israeli salad with cucumbers and tomatoes. I like to serve it with a beautiful lemon arugula salad. First time I ever had schnitzel was skiing with my family in Colorado. It was so incredible, and ever since that day, I am admittedly a schnitzelholic. Now that our poultry is beautifully breaded, it is time to start frying these babies up. So, get a pan, a deep enough one that the oil will not spill out, and then add in your vegetable oil or whatever oil you want to use. Canola oil, grapeseed oil, safflower oil, it all works. And then we're going to turn our pan up nice and hot. And the trick to know if your oil is ready to start cooking is put a wooden spoon into the oil. And if little bubbles start to form around the spoon, you know you're ready to go. And you wanna cook your schnitzel for about three or four minutes on each side. My advice is just cut into the first one that you do and make sure that you're cooking it all the way through. To plate, put schnitzel on a bed of arugula dressed in lemon and olive oil, garnished with sesame seeds, salt, and lemon. And these lemons come from my own private lemon farmer. He's very difficult to deal with but he provides the best lemons. They're really organic and delicious, so I put up with his diva attitude. Now I'm gonna taste this baby. Squeeze a little bit of lemon on there. Oh, it smells so good. Listen to that crunch when I cut into it. Mm. Mm. That crunch of the panko breadcrumbs with that saltiness we added in, and then that tang of the lemon makes for an unbelievable bite. It makes me want to do my schnitzel dance. <laughs> so good, you guys have to try this one at home. And be sure to subscribe to my channel and tune in next week. We'll have something fabulous cooking up.